let's look at the G effective trick in SHM. Well, a very, very useful trick to find the uh, time period of uh, simple pendulum. Let's look at this particular case first. It's uh, nicely happily lying in air right now. And uh, this bob uh, is, a, is having an, you know, acceleration G downwards, having a length L. You know, the formula for time period is 2 pi under root L by G. Well, this is the formula when nothing is happening and your ball is simply, uh, you know, hung like this. There's nothing accelerating, there's nothing happening, right? Uh, but the actual formula or the more useful formula that we will use is two, T is equal to 2 pi under root L by G effective, right? So, G effective is nothing but that acceleration which results as a sum of the surrounding or, uh, or the scenario in which your simple pendulum is placed, right? So let us say in this particular thing, your box is it's moving down with an acceleration g sin theta. What is your effective acceleration? When you look at this particular thing, it is an accelerating frame. So uh, it is hanging like this. There is a g sin theta that you will have to apply on the opposite side as a, as a result of pseudo force, right? Because it is it's already there in a box which is moving down with g sin theta. And then you have a g here, right? You have a g here, you will split this as g cos theta and g sin theta, right? So, what you will realize is your g sin theta gets cancelled because your frame was accelerating down and your effective g, your effective g is nothing but g cos theta. So, you will use that in, that in the formula. So, if I ask you what is the time period here, it is simply t is equal to 2 pi under root L by g cos theta this time, right? Let us look at this particular lift. This lift is moving down, moving up with an acceleration a. If I go in the lift, then I will have to apply a pseudo acceleration a. Already a g was present, I will also have to apply an a here. So, your g effective here is nothing but g plus a downwards, right? So, your time period is will be nothing but 2 pi under root L by g plus a. Let us look at this particular case where your lift is going down. If you go in the frame of the lift, right, you will have to apply a pseudo force m a upwards. So, you will have an acceleration a upwards, you will have a g downwards. So, your g effective in this case is nothing but g minus a, right? So, your time period t is equal, will be nothing but 2 pi under root L by g minus a because that is your g effective, right? If I say that this uh, particular, uh, you know, this thing does not go with an acceleration a, it goes up with an with a, with a veloc velocity b, then this will not come, this will not come, this will not come. Why? Because velocity uh, is not a problem. Only if your frame is accelerating, you will have to account for that. But if it is moving with a constant velocity and there is no acceleration, the answer will remain the same 2 pi under root L by G. So, this was the G effective uh, trick to be kept in mind. These are just four, three scenarios here. You can have multiple scenarios. But if you know how actually G effective is used, you can very easily do, the, do those problems and these are more likely to come in the examination than this directly.